Today we're going to be making bratwurst and I'm going to be making venison bratwurst. You can really use these this lesson to make any kind of bratwurst you want. First thing you really need is a fancy apron like this. Keep yourself clean. <laughs> Let's get around the back. We're going to go over everything we're working with here. We got our meat. I've got my venison pork shoulder meat which is the best you can buy boneless um country style ribs pork whatever you want i just happened to get these cryovac pork shoulders on sale recently for like 99 cents a pound so it was ridiculously low and they were, they were good so i got them um your meat you'll need a meat log or a container or bowl whatever you have everything i have here you can like purchase over time you got the grinder the stuffer this is uh you can get a home style grinder for under 100 bucks the stuffer a, a small starter stuffer you can get for usually around 150 a couple uh couple sharp knives some rubber gloves we have our spice mix depending on how you want to spice it up i have uh this regular i buy these at the butcher supply this is a legs brand which i really like it's uh bratwurst seasoning and this is uh, chili dog seasoning, but we're going to be making um, chili cheese bratwurst, which are phenomenal. Um, so you can really use any kind of spice you want. You can get it at pretty much any sporting goods shop. Cabela's, your local sporting goods shop sometimes. All right, you want to start by, I'm just going to bone out this pork butt here. You can find the seam. If you have, uh, if, you know, if you buy the... Uh, Country style ribs or something, you won't need to do this. If some of them have a bone in it, you can just go down. It's real, just follow the bone lines, pretty simple. A good sharp knife makes all the difference in the world. Careful not to cut yourself. And we get all this meat boned out. work it down like so. It's a little bit of a tedious process. A good pair of rubber gloves are nice. Like I said, just be real careful you don't cut yourself. You're going to be grinding it. Get this trimmed out nice. Let's see you can follow the bone there. You get some nice pieces come off that. So, we'll clean that up. Kind of right, once we got it boned out, you're going to cut it in strips. You want a fair amount of fat. I know you might say it seems like a lot of fat, but we're putting this in venison, which is like 99, 98% lean. So, and we're, we're putting a product that is probably an 73 27 fat ratio so combining them together is going to give you about a 90 90 10 fat ratio which is going to make for a you know and by sausage making standards is a little light on fat but it is going to give you a beautiful beautiful bratwurst it's going to still maintain maintain the integrity of the venison but it's going to be juicy and delicious so We'll keep chopping this up and getting it ready for the grind. We got the pork all cut up, so we're going to start grinding. And then we'll grind the venison, mix it together, and we'll go from there. So the first thing we'll do is uh, fire up the old grinder and get it going.
right, we got the pork all ground up. Now we're gonna repeat the process of venison. Venison I already had cut into strips um, when I processed it, ready for the grind. So we're gonna go ahead and grind the venison now. all ground up now and the pork so we're good there you can see how lean lean this venison is I mean it's very super lean great great meat for you um, so mixing in I like a 50 50 ratio that's kind of a personal preference I guess you can uh, some guys some people think it's uh, you know you're not really having a, a venison bratwurst but I like a good tasting bratwurst and I just found the 50 50 pork to venison ratio makes a spectacular bratwurst. I mean, you can serve this to people that say they don't like venison. Uh, it's better than any store-bought bratwurst you can ever get. I mean, you'll you'll wow your friends and family with this. One thing we want to do also before we go ahead and weigh it is we want to mix mix the meat together. Now, if you're if you're real fancy, you can have a a meat mixer. I don't, so we're going to do it the old-fashioned way and just mix it mix it by hand in the meat tub. These meat tubs you can get at Cabela's, you can buy them at your local butchery store. It's kind of a must if you're going to do any size of batch. I've got about 26 pounds here because I'm going to do two separate batches, two different flavors. Um, but yeah, gloves because the meat is extremely cold. It's partially frozen, otherwise your hands will get real cold. So go ahead and mix it up. Once we get the finished product here, then we'll divide it out, weigh it, and um, add the spices uh, and get ready to stuff it. All right, we got everything portioned out here. Got This is about 13 pounds of uh, the venison pork combo. I weighed my spices. If you don't have it, just get yourself a little kitchen scale. Uh, it's a 13 ounce package, does 25 pounds of meat. So if you weigh it, you get exact. I've got just a little over 13 pounds here. Um, you know, I like to go a little under on the spices, so I got seven ounces of spices. We're gonna put that in. Okay, I like about a quarter cup because because we're doing um, chili cheese brats. I like about a quarter cup per pound of meat, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in. I, I leave a little back. It should be good there. Um, we don't need to leave a little back. So we got that in. We're gonna go ahead and uh, mix that up. You gotta add a little water. I like my brats cheesy, so we're gonna put in about, about a eight ounces or so of nice ice cold water. I put this in the freezer. You can see it's kind of partially frozen. So that'll help us combine the spices. Now we're gonna start, start mixing that up. If you like more or less cheese, you can add as much as you want. I find that the quarter pound, quarter cup per pound is pretty decent. Gives you a nice amount of cheese in the brats. And who doesn't like cheese, right? Once you get it all, get it all mixed in, you want to make sure it's really mixed well. Get that all combined nicely. Get the spices mixed into the meat. Get the cheese through it nice and evenly. It'll loosen it up a little bit too, the water. Like I said, it helps it bind. There is a there is a binder in the like I buy the seasoning mix. You know, it helps it all bind. You want it to really when it's ready, kind of gets tacky looking. Kind of sticky. That's what you want. 
once it's all mixed up nice, just kind of work it in. It's like kneading bread dough. And that's just the uh, cheese I'm using. It's a high temperature cheese. It's made for sausage making. You can get that at Butcher Supply. You can order it online. They have a lot of different flavors. I just use, I'm using just regular cheddar here. You can get uh, Swiss, mozzarella, you can get pepper jack, which is really good. If you want a little bit spicier version. Um, but yeah, this will be the, these, will, these are gonna be really good. All right, let's finish mixing it up. We'll get the stuffer ready and get ready to make some links. Yeah. Put the sausage in the hopper here. We'll get that propped up on our stuffer. Crank it down a little bit. There you go. Get it so that the meat's just starting to come out the tube. You can back it down a little bit. There we go. All right, we got our casings. We're going to uh, get those started on the tube. Sometimes it's easier with, without gloves on. There we go. All right. Just kind of want to get those on the, get them on the horn. I got to take that off. It's hampering me. There we go. Much easier. The gloves are a little slippery. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to put the casing on the stuffing horn. Get it all right about to the end. Just take a little bit. A little bit of a knot in there like so. There we go. Now we're going to start stuffing. You want to slow. The real art to making sausage is the stuffing. So you don't, you want them to be full, but not too full. So like so. I know there's a million jokes you can make right now, but trust me, I've heard them all. <laughs> so you just keep going and you just it's not a speed game here just you can take your time crank it and just you want what you want is you want a consistent stuffing you don't want to overstuff you don't want to be understuffed if you overstuff you're going to end up with sausage that bursts when you try to cook it so you definitely don't want that under snuff just doesn't look good. It'll shrivel up and be really small. So we're just going to keep repeating this process until we're done. All right, we got uh, we got everything stuffed up here. You can see our uh, our uh, sausage rings we got going. So now you want to twist them off. And we can start from the beginning here. You kind of get, uh, you want to go about bun length-ish, right around there. And you start and you twist. And you go about bun length again. You want to twist in the opposite direction every time. So you go back. You go forward. You go back. Otherwise, if you twist the same same direction, they will untwist each other as you go. So back, forward. There you go. You got linked up bratwurst. Just taking, trim them up. Trim them up, package them up, and you're ready to go. That's some good eats right there. All right, thanks for joining me for the sausage making video. There'll be more to come. If you liked it, subscribe and like. 
We're gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing some giveaways as my channel grows. I just do this for fun. I enjoy it. Um, I like to hunt fish and I like to cook. So what better way to utilize your venison than, you know, some nice bratwurst and steaks. And I got all kinds of recipes coming up that I'm gonna do. So appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great night. Try this out for yourself.